What is the age of the Earth? About how old is it? Is about five, four point five billion years old. Yes. Billion? Yep. It's 9.5 years old, just total. Yeah, yeah. You're, all the other things you remember are just false histories. Is this like an estimated guess, or is it like the, when the first No, um, so, so yeah, so this is the 4.5 billion years. That's from the start of the formation when it started forming. And the reason we're able to predict this is based off of seeing other solar systems, looking at the formation of other stars, figuring out from simulations how long these things take, that sort of thing. And, and looking at older things in our solar system, things like asteroids and stuff like that. Good. All right, so why do the seasons change? And a diagram will help. So, so number two, why do the seasons change? Because the Earth is tilted. Because the earth is tilted. So in the summer, light is more direct. In the winter, light is indirect. And you end up getting something kind of like this. Here's the sun, and then you get the earth in different areas. So the earth is tilted. Okay, so here is us during the summer. We're facing towards. Here is us in the spring, in the fall. We're kind of in the middle. And here's us in the winter. In the winter, we're kind of indirectly, we're not facing it as much. So we're kind of in the middle, spring and summer, or spring and fall, which is why it's kind of mild in the weather. Uh, we're direct in the summer, is why it gets hot, and indirect in the winter. Um, we're actually closest to the sun in the summer, sorry, closest to the sun in the winter. So I want to make sure you understand it has nothing to do with being close or far from the sun. Nothing to do with that. Okay? It has everything to do with Earth's uh, poles being tilted. If Earth was not tilted, the seasons would be like this. It would be hot and deserty in the center at the equator, always. It would be nice and middly and warm in the middle region, so kind of in like the Mexico region, it would be nice. Where we are in America, it would be cold-ish, and then it would be a frozen wasteland in Canada, much like it is now. Um, but it would, but you would have the seasons would be by zone. So if you wanted to have different seasons, you would have to move. You wouldn't be able to just have seasons happen, which is how uh, crops are grown. Like we have to have seasons to have the crops and things and uh, livestock and that and all those kind of things happen that way. So if Earth isn't tilted, then weird things are going to happen, um, and it's not going to work out. Uh, likewise, you could have too much tilt. Uh, believe that, yeah, Uranus is tilted on its side. Isn't it like a 10 degree rotation or something? It's like an 80 degree tilt, yeah. So, um, so it has basically the poles face. And so um, basically the side that's facing is always like it just, it, there's no day or night really. Um, you're either on a night side or a day side, it just rotates through. So um, that's kind of more extreme example, but this is what we're used to having. Okay. Why do the visible constellations change? The visible constellations change because our position in the night sky changes. So if here's the sun, here's the earth at different spots, the constellations, which are totally not letters, 
the constellations are going to change because, again, this is the day side. This is the night side. When you're on this side of the sun, you can see Z at night, but you can only see Z during the day on the opposite side, which means you won't see it at all. And that's what you're seeing. You're seeing the different positions. So the reason why you don't see the same constellations, so the Orion constellation is a winter constellation. So you only see it generally in the winter. You don't see it in the summer. You can see it a little bit in the fall, a little bit in the spring, but not as well. All right. What is responsible for the northern lights? Well, for that... The sun releases high energy charged particles. So step one, sun releases high energy charged particles. Okay, high energy charged particles, those particles get attracted to um, Earth's magnetic field at the poles. Okay, those particles collide with atoms in the atmosphere. And lastly, those atoms release that energy at specific colors. So the reason why you see the pretty colors is because the light is hitting from, or sorry, is the light is being given off from these atoms. Those atoms are hit by high energy particles from the sun. Because the sun gives off different amounts of particles and different amounts of energy, that's why you see the wavy, moving, traveling stuff. The reason it's not static is because it's not coming in static. It's not coming in exactly the same every time. And it's not hitting the exact same particles in the, or atoms every time in the atmosphere. We're going to talk about this a little bit more uh, when we get into stars and when we get into the quantum stuff, the quantum weird things. Uh, because uh, there's a reason why they give off very specific colors. And every atom gives off very specific colors. It doesn't give off all colors. It only gives off certain ones. So oxygen only gives off those colors. Oxygen only gives off the other colors. You're not going to see anything else. And that's why you see the northern lights the way they do. So it's a really cool thing. It's a fun thing to be able to explain. Um, and it's not, it's not as, again, it's not stu stupid complicated the way he makes it out to be. But you have to understand the process of what's going on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate that you think that I never misspell things, but I always uh, misspell things. I, I fact checked it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, would the same thing for like the northern lights be? Could that be applied to like uh, color color fires? Um, no. The color fires is a little different. It it's similar, but it has to do with the chemicals. It does have to do with the chemicals, and it's a little bit of a different process, but not. Quite that different. Um, something else to mention is other planets have northern lights too. It's not just Earth. If they have a magnetic field, they have northern lights. So it's not just Earth that has it. Okay, I gave you apparently not near enough room 
for the moon thing, I left all the room on the back. I don't know why. So you might want to do it on the back page where there's more room for it. Um, but does, does anybody have... 